The Tez 8 has a number of external seals that can wear from use and present leaks. Replace these seals using the KTT840R repair kit to restore the performance of your pump. The kit includes all the necessary sizes of mega seal caps, input tree o-rings, debris tube o-rings, tesum seals, and a new debris tube. Here is a list of necessary and recommended tools to complete this repair. Remove the input tree and set aside. Remove the old debris tube. Use a razor or utility knife to carefully cut the red o-ring to remove it. Take care to avoid damaging the sealing surface of the fitting. Remove the old black o-ring with a pick. Remove the shipping tube or tesum cartridge and set aside. Turn the pump upside down to access the red tesum seals. Using needle nose pliers, remove the old tesum seals. Note that if a piece of the lower seal breaks off during removal, you do not need to attempt to retrieve it. It will be pushed out by the oil the next time the pump is turned on. Install new tesum seals, starting with the smaller upper seal. Orient the tabs on the lower seal with the triangle shaped holes on the pump. Lubricate the tabs with clean vacuum pump oil for easy installation. Finish installing the new seals. You can use needle nose pliers to assist with installation if the seal won't seat by hand. Reinstall the shipping tube or tesum cartridge. To install the debris tube o-rings, begin by lubricating them with a small amount of vacuum pump oil. Install the new black o-ring into the uppermost groove on the fitting. Install the red o-ring into the lower groove. It will be necessary to stretch the o-ring to get it in place. Apply a small amount of vacuum grease to the top portion on the new debris tube, only where the tube sits on the seals. Ensure the o-rings do not become pinched when installing the new debris tube. Set the pump aside to begin work on the input tree. Remove both old O-rings on the input tree. Lubricate the new O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil and install. Remove the old caps from the input tree by either threading them off or cutting them. Install the new caps and ensure that their seals are in place. Repeat for all the mega seal caps. Apply a small amount of vacuum grease to the O-rings and reinstall the input tree. Always hand tighten a knurled fitting, never tool tighten. 
After the repair, run a test on your TES-8 pulling down to 50 microns to ensure that the repair was successful. The parts in this kit are easy repairs to remedy a vacuum leak and can often bring a pump back to life without the difficulty of a full internal rebuild. If you have any questions about any repair, don't hesitate to reach out to Appian directly.